Hi, and welcome back to the workshop. Uh, today's video is actually not going to be in here. We're going to be looking at one of the uh, layouts I've been building recently, uh, Bishopsbourne. So uh, let's go and take a look. So welcome to Bishopsbourne, 1.2 metres by 24 centimetres, a shelf layout with uh, with extended uh, wings, fiddlesticks if you like, for, for operation, but equally a, uh, a 3D picture, somewhere to display my customers' collection uh, of, uh, of models. And although scenically finished, perhaps not quite as detailed as I would normally go for, and it really was that opportunity through working with my customer to understand where their strengths, where their uh, desires lay in terms of model making. And uh, it isn't a, uh, the main hobby of, of my customer. So being able to have a layout to, to play with, to enjoy, um, yet with the opportunity to add to it, to practice those skills, to, you know, look at the small details, the enamel signs, the telegraph poles, the uh, the clutter around the grounded van, perhaps even adding a few more trees, uh, all, all things that can be done in time. But as it stands, the layout is fully operational, scenically finished uh, and can be enjoyed straight away. So working with the customer or working with you, perhaps on your own project, understanding exactly how the layout's going to be used, where it's going to live. What are your time constraints? What are your financial constraints? What are your levels of skill, your experience? I work with all of these things, work with, with you to understand uh, those and come up with a, with a plan that is hopefully going to be something that you enjoy for years to come. This end of the layout features a caricature of the station of Bishopsbourne. Not instantly recognisable, but it has those features of the prototype. It has the girder bridge, it has the small station building. Uh, this though is based using the uh, the Wills uh, country station waiting room, I believe. Um, and I've added uh, the platform canopy. The prototype's platform was concrete edged with a brick uh, edging along the top of the platform surface which has been recreated uh, and a siding behind and the reason for that siding is because the story goes that the mess room for the officers who uh, were stationed there during the war their coach which was their mess room was was stationed in that siding yet when fuel was delivered they'd have to shunt that coach out of the siding uh, so they could get to uh, uh, get beyond it in the goods yard. So uh, something my customer wanted to be able to include in the layout was the ability to shunt that, uh, that coach in and out. Funnily enough, from this angle, we can't even see the track. What we can see though are two really nice trees. My customer actually uh, twisted these armatures himself um, but wasn't sure how to finish them so I've finished them off and incorporated them into the scene. One of the nice things about um, model railways is when you build a, build that scenery and you sort of imagine the uh, the flow of the land before the, uh, the railway was built um, and, and you're looking for the contours there and so hopefully in this scene by not being able to even see the track we can see there's a sort of natural flow to the shape of the land here. One nice feature I, or feature I really like is that footpath that comes down from underneath that tree down to the uh, to the track in the foreground. The other end of the layout features the tunnel where the Bosch Buster gun was kept and hidden from uh, the Germans during the war and uh, would have been pulled out and uh, and used and practiced 
uh, with, I believe, a, a small 060 diesel shunter. So uh, all of these things that my customer's hoping to recreate. Uh, interestingly, that shadow in the bridge is, is actually painted on uh, in the tunnel um, to give the feel of a... Uh, of a shadow depending on where you are in the room and how the room's lit you'll always get the shadow in there which i think is quite important on a small layout like this so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and um, a bit of a whistle stop uh through the project but uh if you want to see a bit more, there will be some photos up on the blog uh, at, at some point in the near future as well. Uh, I've really enjoyed working on the project. Uh, it's one where I actually worked through the whole design process with the customer. So I really got a feel of what they were looking for and what it was they were after. Um, and working with them to end up with a result which uh, should give them years of happiness uh, in their own home. I'm really, really lucky to be able to do that as a, as a job. So um, if you've got a project you think I can help with, then do get in touch. Um, JamesHilton-CMR.co.uk, contact forms on the website. Um, but in the meantime, uh, if you haven't done already, then please do subscribe, like, share, let your friends know. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and see you again soon. Cheers.